Okay, let's uh, now go uh, live uh, to uh, just up the road from Hammond's Kral in Mamalodi. Uh, Keldon Ongmu is on the ground there. Keldon, uh, have you been able to speak to residents there? Uh, is a real sense in Hammond's Kral that uh, they want the ANC to review the decision to appoint Toko de Dizize as the mayoral candidate. Uh, definitely, Peter. That's one of the main reasons why this whole Tswane region is burning down right now. Earlier, we did see 23 buses, at least in Mamalodi, has been burnt down. And people are protesting. Some say they want uh, Ramakhopa back. Others say they don't care about this whole elections at all. It has all boiled down to be very political. But of course, there are some opportunists as well. But uh, Peter, just to clear, we've moved away from Mamalodi Extension 5 and now we are here in Silverton where you can see behind me the whole road, the highway leading to Mamalodi has been closed down. We are now here covering protests that's been uh, done by AMCU, that's Association of Mines and Construction Workers Union in the Fort premises. This whole area has been closed down. Earlier today we did see these same very workers, employees, uh, uh, throwing stones uh, at vehicles that is passing by. Not a single vehicle has passed by so far. You can see there's a huge protest. And also to clarify, the media has been uh, 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 covering all the protests all around uh, what's happening in Tuane. And there has been a bit confusion about whether or not this protest where I'm in right now is is uh, um, also a part of Tuane region protest. Uh, just to clarify that this is Amku protest. These workers are disgruntled. It's just this area, Silverton, is very close to Mamalodi. So people, media that's going to cover the Mamalodi uh, protests ha is covering this as well. These workers say they are disgruntled with the wage negotiations. But remember, the entire road has been closed down. We're just going to be speaking to Amku chairperson at a DHO Ford and we'll, uh, we'll just find out what are the main reasons for this protest. Thank you for speaking to us. Can you tell us what are some of your demands? Our demand is only wages and we don't want, we don't want to be on road flight and the workers are looking for housing allowance and the better conditions of working. And we're working at Ford and Ford is the biggest company at this point in time and they're doing Everest. is in demand in Africa. So now we are looking forward to get a better living wage. But uh, do you realize that, you know, this is not just a protest, it's a huge protest. There are protests going on everywhere in Tswane because of the mayoral candidate list that has been out and Amku is protesting at the same time. This whole area has been uh, block, uh, blocked by Amku workers. You are not letting any trucks pass by. And earlier we saw some of your workers were stoning uh, trucks and not letting them pass. But why so violent? Uh, you must understand, when there's a revolution in Africa and South Africa, it's how we show our anger to our capitalism. Capitalism is the one is oppressing us. We are living in an exploitation at this point in time. This is our country. We cannot go anywhere. That's where our resources are coming from. This country must go back to the people that they belong to. We're looking for only, we are not violently, we're showing our anger to the company that they must Listen to us when we say things. We are willing to work with them. This is a train smash at this point in time. We want our money back. Thank you so much. We'll catch up with you a bit later. Peter Abigail, that was a chairperson of AMCU at here in Ford uh, premises. We are told that the AMCU national chairperson will also be here in a while. But meanwhile, you can see tires burning. This whole road has been blocked. Just three or four minutes away from here is the same area where 23 buses were torched last night because of the announcement of mayoral candidate of Tswane. Mm. Keldon, just before we let you go, uh, uh, what kind of mines are affected in that area? What, what are the mines that are uh, involved and affected by this particular strike? Uh, Actually, Peter, these are the Association of Mine and Construction Workers Union, and these are just here uh, as the construction workers, not as mine here. They're representing people. They are employees of DHL, and they supply uh, their contents to uh, Ford Automobile here. And they're saying they are getting paid very low wages. That's why they need to push employers. 
it's just coming at a time when whole uh, Sawani region is burning down because of the mayoral candidate list that has been announced. So it's a bit of confusion. Most of the people, like I mentioned before, are confusing, uh, confusing whether this protest is also linked uh, to the mayoral candidate announcement. So these are, these are just uh, mine and construction workers union and they are fighting for wages. It's just that it, has, it, ha it had to come at this very same time. Mm. Tell them one last question. Uh, the, in terms of the, the traffic flow, there obviously no vehicles are allowed through there. What are the alternative routes there and does it look like it's going to be cleared anytime soon? Uh, definitely, that's a big question that uh, we do not know, Peter. But like I said before, any vehicles that is coming here will give you a, a view once again. This whole area, both the sides of this road that is under construction and that's proper, it's a huge road at least. Uh, it, uh, it can move up to eight, four vehicles on my left and four vehicles on the right. Both on the left and the right side, all the roads have been closed down. Not a single vehicle is being allowed here. We saw uh, these workers attacking a truck driver when he tried to come in. His vehicle, the truck was badly damaged and driver was shaken. He said he was scared for his life. So immediately he ran out of the way and everyone else. But of course, police presence is heavy and they are keeping a close watch on these workers as well.